Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mel7 Gaming, and today we're taking a look at Pop Up Dungeon. I've gone through this tutorial real fast. I figured we would jump into it. Um, it is a very... It's an interesting little roguelike game as far as the game goes, but... Let me back out. Well, let me back out. You can see here we've got a lot of additional options to create. And I think this is what's really going to be the strength of this game is all of kind of the ability you have to do different things. So not only, you know, so let's go here. Let's, we'll, we'll take a look at the cat character here. Um, uh, there we go. So you can see we can make a character just with, you know, this is, this is the artwork, right? This is because it's just essentially a box. All we need to do is do the artwork for this type of skin, um, which is going to give you a lot of interesting things. So it'd be pretty easy to do the artwork on, um, you know, and then you can make your own abilities and stuff like that. So let's uh, let's back out of this here just to give you an idea. Now that we've seen uh, kind of the, how easy some of this creation stuff is going to be, and let's jump into the game itself. So now there is no reason why you can't play with more characters. It's locked because we haven't gone through the first kind of non-tutorial mission. Um, and we're going to be told that here in a second. However, uh, the number of characters you have is going to scale the dungeon up or down. So there's no real, you're, you, it's not like you're playing on a hard mode per se with only one and easy mode with five. The dungeon's going to scale. However, the more characters, obviously the more kind of utility abilities you have, the more healing you have, that sort of stuff. So I would say probably it, it, it might be easier just because you have more options that might make it more difficult. So I'm going to drop like with more that. or less the base character here. Now, there's a lot of people that um, if you watch gaming videos online, you may recognize. All the health potions I can drink, you say? I've watched you since you learned to stand stones. There's really no point to my pointy ears. They say... The Q bombs tore a hole in reality and demons came through. So, like I say, you, you may find some voices in there. Now, these are the base, the three it gives you to start with, but we could swap any of these out. So if we decided we wanted the internet troll instead, um, we could swap them out. But we're gonna go with these three. Um, and you can you can swap below. And you can see that there's actually more, I think there's more. Veteran of Will there be rats? I there are more characters than actually showed there on the first screen. The Smorlock. And you can see there, two, two additional screens. Well, let's see. So this is just a damage, right? AE, area effect, long range. You know what? I'm going to go back to damage. What is that? Ashi the Samurai. Oh, I just got one of those masks, by the way. So I'm going to use it for some other stuff. But that's that's pretty cool. Um, short range. Let's go for a long range. Didn't we see a gunslinger on the second page? That's kind of what I was thinking. Hey, you thought me. Roll mid range. Yeah, let's let's just go off him now. Um, you can see here uh, offense mundane light. That means he's doing physical damage as opposed to magical damage. So um, there are definitely some other issues there. So let's. So with that, I'm going to start the campaign. Using the phone as a webcam today, I'm using something called IV Cam. We'll see how it works. Hopefully, I've got everything set up correctly. Uh, normal difficulty, I think that's fine. That's our party. Wizard's Tower. Perpetual storm rages in a ring around the wizard's tower. You're uncertain if it's a curse or a deterrent or unwant for unwanted guests. The solitary spire juts out above the forest and plunges into the clouds above. You are unable to guess its height. It looks like a newly constructed ancient building, if that makes sense. At the front of the tower, you find that the rain has not touched the stone. An arc of otherworldly light bleeds through the space between the clouds and the rock. The front door is strangely small and unassuming, Built as an afterthought. The wood is incredibly solid. Knocking hardly makes a sound. Then a flash of lightning glints on a brass button in the stone. The door opens. You? Well, hello, come in. Are you the wizard? Absolutely not, I am merely the DRM. DRM? 
Dungeon Resources Manager, and I handle the tutorials as you already know. I see, so shouldn't you be out administering more tutorials? I'm like the tutorial Santa Claus. I can simultaneously teach the <laughs> tutor tutorature chamber or a classroom and waste time here with you. I recently got a cricket. Uh, it's like a, a hobby kind of CNC cutter thing for stickers and stuff. I could make little stickers like this. I mean, that would be kind of cool. Speaking of which, why are you here? All right, I received this letter. Uh, if you play the game, it's a very cool letter. It's well acted, but it's long, so I skipped it. Um, all right, I received this letter. You, you got an invitation? I see, the wizard must be desperate. Desperate to lose? I'm gonna climb this tower and win one for humanity. And the phone's gonna beep again. Ho, ho, ho. Don't tell anyone, but I'll be rooting for you. Now, it is my distinguished duty to welcome you to the wizard's tower. This place will put your creativity and determination to the test, yada, yada, yada. Excuse me, now it's time to dip a toe in the dungeon. You'll find the surface is pleasantly warm, but its, de its depths will cook those little piggies. The dungeon. All right, difficulty, plastic, dungeon mix. Counters, two standard. As the porticulus on the far side of the foyer rumbles open, fire springs to life in the torches ahead. It looks almost cheery. Oh, I gotta click it. All right. So it's gonna start you with just one dude who you can move around and as you move, it will open up your uh, line of sight. So uh, you can spin the camera using your Q and E back and forth using Waz D, and I believe zoom in and out with the roll wheel. I'm gonna lower the uh, walls there so you can see in those areas that it needs to, and it's all gonna be line of sight, so you'll be able to see what you can see. Go, we moved out, so now we can see that. Now we can click all of this stuff, and you can see sometimes there's stuff in it. You can burn your way through all of it if you so choose. You just click it, and if there's something in it, you'll get it. Now, there's some keys. There we go. That one actually showed some gold when we moused over it. I think we can mouse over it, and if it shows gold falling, then there's something money in it. Um, and if it doesn't, then there isn't. That's my guess. That one's got a coin on it. There we go. Hmm. So I don't think these will have anything, but let's click them and see. Just a just a test. All right. Can we get something here? Nope. All right. Let's come out through the next door. Encounter. Okay. We've got a Pegasus, a Homunculus, and a Kobold. Now, we just select a real fight. How exciting. Please don't lose. It would reflect poorly on my tutorial performance. All right, hey, while you're here, how come I can only choose three characters? I locked a couple slots to make your first party choice easier. How considerate. Normally, you can launch with a party of one to five, and the dungeon will scale up to compensate. Between you and me, I think three is the perfect party size. No. All right, so. Then we just go ahead and we collect our character and you can see where all we could have them stand. So we're going to go right here and we'll have them kind of look that direction. Uh, we're going to bring Claire, our healer. I think we'll put her... Hmm. I think I'll put her here and we'll have her look there. And let's go ahead and take our cat, our... our Shooter here, and we'll drop him there. We'll see how that goes. When we're ready, we start the battle. This, this pillar kind of screws things up. We've got so much crud in the way there. All right, they also have a ranged character. Fancy footwork. All right, well, we took some damage anyway. The cleric's turn. All right, so she's going to have some abilities that are shown as cards here. Um, and you can see we can do Blessed Bulwark. Um, so absorb 184 damage over two turns. I think that's going to essentially heal us. Um, it's a hot heal over time, I think. Um, but we're going to try it. This 
I believe the green, uh, I'm not 100%. They do have some little seals. It's gonna highlight these in various ways. Blue uh, is kind of the best ability the game thinks you have for you to cast at the moment. Cast him, all right. And then uh, I think I'm actually gonna, I think, I think we'll uh, try to just move back, but I like there we go. My friends Couldn't see what I was doing. All right, and that will end her turn. I'm just a merchant, All right, honest. now we've got our gunslinger here. So they think his best ability is this one, Gamma Glow. Looks like it's gonna do 51 damage, 62 mundane power. There's different types of power and abilities and whatever. Um, and that's also going to boost him, give him 48% aim and give him a crit chance. Light shot will just do some damage, um, but we get more of him out. So I've got five ability points and I could move five units, and obviously this is my hit points. So we should be able to do two of these and a light shot. So we'll just get up, we'll shoot at this guy. Maybe. Does have a range? Oh, range of two. Okay. So we're gonna move forward one. Oh, let's stretch those. Then we'll shoot. Uh, okay. So fast, oh, just a buff. It was just a buff. Okay, so now we can shoot this, and it's got a range of one to four. Because it's red, it means it's uh, it needs line of sight. We could have stayed back. Oh, and we can click on them to see what they can do too. So his initiative is 24. He's got five speed. He rolled a 19. Uh, weakness, he's bad against ability or against piercing, deficient against body. So you can look and see everything about each of these characters, which is darn cool. Shoot him again. Is that enough? Yeah, yeah there we go. That's the end of our abilities, or end of our points there. So we'll kind of finish that. Now Magnor is going to move up. I'm going to go after this guy. I'm going to do it from here. Just to block traffic a little bit. The Pegasus can still run around, and he might. Um, and that's his turn. Doesn't appear to be any sort of zone of control, so it doesn't matter if we move there or not. He's gonna go after who we want to go after. Oh look, we had a we had an ability. Nice. Uh, we'll see that on them on occasion, but I didn't know that Magnor had. That's pretty. And he's almost down. He's taunted. He's dazed. All right, let's go ahead and get Claire up here. Um, got a smite, but I think what we're gonna do is we want to cast. Can be three. How far can I get with two? Hmm, I think that's showing me how many abilities I would have left. Go to there. What happens? I could still cast Blessed Bulwark. It's got a range of zero to four, okay. but I needed line of sight. Okay, and that's the end of her turn. So he's gonna get a little bit of a heal going. Uh, his buff went away. Um, I am just going to, oh, I'm gonna do it again. Myself, give myself my buff. All right, maybe, I don't know what it's, there we go. I had to double click myself for some reason. I'm not sure why. I would have thought one click would have been enough. Uh, can I shoot that guy? Only if I move, and it looks like I don't have a shot there at all. No. No, we don't. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna go to here. here. Press to move. Then I'm gonna do light shot. Oh, oh, on, let me drag that up, and then I should shoot, shoot him. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Uh, and I'm gonna move down a little bit because I think we're gonna have to go this way or this way to get more shots of that Pegasus blocking our reach there. Um, 
I am going to just chop a bunch, I think. If you double click this, it'll automatically kind of, um, uh, it'll go after whatever the closest, easiest one. It'll run it. You make me so proud. Now keep it up or else. All right. So we got a stylish stole and you can see that that would be uh, an improvement for our cleric. So it's plus aim and focus. Uh, it's just a slightly better version of what she has. You can see the arrows down. So this one is down for everybody. So we're just going to pop up there and sell it for five gold. And then we've got this goblet and that's going to be a big improvement for her. Um, you can see there her... She's got used soap at the moment as a uh, <laughs> as an injection ability, and it does give her some resistance, but minus stability. This can give her aim. Uh, I don't know that we really need that. Um, I kind of like the resistance. I think I'm gonna live with that. Uh, you can see he has haste. I think that's more. I kind of like the extra aim. Honestly, but it is minus mundane power, whereas this one is minus magic power. Now he does mundane power, so we we would prefer that he keep that. So maybe that's okay. I think we just live with it. I think I'm just. I think we're good with what we got. All right. You see a little uh, gold coin on there, so let's click that. Fair enough. We got a little bit of money. Um, and some here on the bed. anything else there we know we've got one more encounter left there it is yeah it's in the kitten knight and the unicorn so the, the kitten knight moves around when you go to attack it um the how do we check good against mundane decent against decent evasion decent health um, awful against mines, statuses, and elementals. So our our wizard would have been better against this, our gunslinger worse. Um, how do we see? Maybe we don't notice until it does it, but it does have some abilities. And I'm, uh, rogue, strengths. We... Hmm. All right, well, the unicorn has the least amount of health, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab Magnor and I'm going to put him... I don't really have huge choices. We're going to put him right there and we'll face him that way. Uh, gunslinger, um, I'm going to put kind of here. That's fine. And Claire, uh, we shall... Uh, Eventually, you have to click the base of them, apparently. We'll put her there. And we'll go ahead and start the battle. All right. She's round one, and she doesn't really have much to do at the moment, I don't believe. Nice if she had a buff. Um, I will cast on Magnar. Oh, see, he's got a react. See, there you go. You can see he's got a react ability. Don't see it on them. All right. I'm going to end her turn. Kitten Knight's going to move up. I assume. Yeah, there he comes. Customers always right. Or dead. All right. Um, I want to shoot this guy. I have to go to there. If I want to shoot this guy, I can't. I don't have a good way. So let's go ahead and do shot him. Go over where we need to go. And that's going to be the end of his turn. Assume the unicorn's going to come up and shoot him, and maybe we'll find out. Oh, look, he had a little heal. But he blocked in the skeleton warrior. Right, because now he can't, he didn't have an easy way out of there. So, Magnor's going to come over here. Um, in fact, we'll go ahead and we'll just. What happened? I'm going to just double click chop and see where he goes on his own. Oh, he can't get there. 
He didn't have enough movement to do to do everything. All right, that's fine. I'm not used to all this darkness. I move Claire this way. Come with me if you want to live. And we will smite. No, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna bless a bulwark on him. There we go, just in case somebody runs up and punches him. And we'll end our turn. What does the kid at night do? Does he come up after Magnor? He does. Magnor gets a shot off. Oh, 70 damage. Minus 99 mobility. And we absorbed some of it because we had the buff on. Beauty. It worked. It actually worked. Um, If I Gamma Glow. Watch this. Okay. Then... Let's move some merch. Dust you. All right, got him. But that means we're not gonna be able to move. Uh, I'm gonna move to here. Are we done talking? Blender we'll turn. See the skeleton comes up after our gunslinger. I know what his react is. No thanks. Haste, cover, move. Oh, he just slides out of the way. It's too late to say yourself. Okay, well he had the movement still to go. And we absorb it because of the, uh... Get him here. Hopefully finish him off. All right. Oh, is that a pit? Oh, those are pits. Oh, I got it. I just... I thought they were just like a pattern on the floor, but it looks like they're, they're actually... We can't move across them. So they appear to be some sort of pit. All right. I didn't, I didn't get that. Claire's turn. Might. <laughs> she smited the barrel. Okay, fair enough. Anyone want to buy a gun? They're fully loaded. <laughs> loaded. All right, so we'll game a glow again, and then we'll just try to get some shots off on this guy. That all took. One shot. Down he goes. It ain't Eric. Bad habit, huh? Okay, well, I, I expect there'll be some puns involved in all this. All right, so that's going to get us health, but a loss of focus. Now, I'll be honest with you. I don't have any idea what focus does. Oh, let's see. If I put that up, so if I drag that up, then I can come over your mouse over everybody. So it's just a boost for her. It's just going to be more health, same loss of focus. He's got haste. He's got health there. Uh, and he's got... Aim, so it would be a lot more health for him. He would lose the aim, but it doesn't matter about the aim. I'm not sure what focus does, honestly. Here, but you know what? We'll just we'll just go with her. We already know that it's a buff for her. All right, you can tap top bullet over. So now we can we can wander through. Whether we need to, but I'm gonna open it up anyway, just to see if there's any more loot in there that we want. Oh, there's something on this table. I honestly don't know what we're going to do with the gold. So um, I don't know how important it is. We don't actually have to move to do this. We can just click from anywhere. We wanted to click that one. The way it goes. Oh, now this is interesting because I'm not sure how we get about... Notice this, I was watching Splattercat. I noticed there were gold coins in some of these tower on pillars. How we we can get those? Yep, you can knock the whole thing down. He didn't, and I wasn't sure if it was because you couldn't, or if it was because he just didn't think to try. <laughs> oh, click that one from here. Got a gold coin under it. The book on? I don't think it matters. I think it was just the way it was drawn. I think that's everything. I think we can go ahead and exit the level. Another village, another pillage. Nice. All right. And now we've got a power. So increases the effectiveness of all actions you take. I'm going to go ahead and give it to um, our, our range dude there. Okay. Impasse. You defeated every enemy and even earned a little praise from the illustrious Dingbat, but there seems to be nowhere to go. The porticulus through which you entered is gone, replaced by an aging stone wall. All right, so we can search for another way, or we can ask the bat. Let's search for another way and see that there's a dice up there, which I believe means that there's just going to be a roll. So 
Uh, Magnar gets a plus six to it. We need to roll a five or higher. Well, we've got plus six, so we should be able to do that. So we'll accept the challenge. We'll look around for another way forward. I love to rain. Now we actually get to roll a dice. 14, that should give us 20. On. One more All right, 14 plus six. Knocking around for a passage, you come across a wall that sounds different from the rest. All right, paper beats rock. Magnar gets a plus 11, and we only need a two. <laughs> so, uh, we should be able to do that with his with his bonuses. Five, but we only, you know, we get plus 11 to it. So, Demolition Man. Uh, party power plus 3.7, and party stability plus 75. I don't know what party stability does at all for us. So I gotta remember where the camera is. Um, bolstered by your success with the wall, you feel like you can blast through anything. All right. Once the rubble settles, you realize you've stumbled into a chamber of cleanly cut stone. Two encounters, all standard. All right. Good luck in the temple. I think you'll find it legendary in more ways than one. Uh, I hid the treasure chest in here for you since I forgot to build a door to this place and all. Well, that was nice of him. Money, money, treasure chest. This one we actually have to walk up to, I assume because it could be trapped or potentially locked. But I'm not 100% sure on it. Adventure shield. All right. We just drag it up to here. So that will, yeah, that's going to give him cover and resistance. Oh, yeah, we're going to keep our anchor gun there. Extra armor penetration. We don't care about magic power at all. And she's got that which helps with aim. No, we're definitely going to take it up to him. Flat up bonus in my way of the mouse. I'll get that over here. Um, And that's just bonus for her, too. So she goes from a level three to a level four stylish stole. Go ahead and toss that up. All right. Kind of sneak around the outside here. All right. Got it. there. Now, the, if there could be an encounter back here where we can't see. I mean, it's entirely possible that you will have um, encounters pop up as you go deeper into the room. So this one we can see apparently wherever they were right away. We've got the bull doblin and an ogre and a spider there. Women okay. face. Um, Magnor, I'm going to go ahead and put just right there since they'll let me face him that way. Um, Claire has a smite, right? Oh. So she could she could smite somebody right away. I'm, I'm gonna put her right there. Um, he's the one that's gonna be farther. He's the one that doesn't get to go for a while. I'm gonna put him here on the assumption. I mean, he's still got the react and he can move away. And if they have the movement to move, then follow him. Great. If not, maybe he gets away. Who needs saving? All right, Claire's turn. Uh, will not let us smite. up to there Tread lightly. and then we'll go ahead oh it's a it's on a timer so we'll be able to do it next turn so i'm going to smite from here they click the target and then you click where you're smiting from all right now it's also on a timer now magner gets to go um and i think we just chopped this ogre uh, or not we'll go after the spider because it decided that that was our best option um, I, maybe because it could be killed right away. Either way, I'm not a huge fan of the way that that worked. Turn up your pigs. Here I, come. I should have not double clicked. I thought it would just go after who's closest. Go ahead. He's got a thrust and uh, this will actually go through other whoever the entire road. Now, friendly fire is a thing in this game. So yeah, it, it, it will get you. Oh, and the ogre's gonna go after him too. Everybody's gonna gang pile on him. See, this is why I didn't want Magnar to move. See, see, I was right. Just did it wrong. Claire's turn. Now she can um, smite somebody. I'm gonna smite up and let's see, we, we get, oh, look at that. That'll fi finish him off. We can do it from anywhere. Oh yeah, we've got range. We'll do it from here. 
Nice. Another Styler stole. All right. Uh, and that's the end of her turn. And Magner now gets to move up. Uh, and we can just double click the chop this time. And we'll do a taunting shout. Look into my beast. So he comes after us and not after Claire. And in her turn, or at least hopefully. Taunted for three more turns. Yep, turns around. This is his own shop. We absorbed 120 of it because of our uh, our ability there. These elven arms have seen much suffering. And uh And we'll we'll do that from here. We don't have to we don't have to be that close. We got a range of four. We have to have line of sight. Doing push-ups, I guess. There we go. Um, and we'll just keep him taunted, I guess. You can see it'll do that plus the three. Uh, when we mouse over it, you'll see that's the effect. All right. Okay, I'm not sure quite where he's going, but... Um, Claire should be able to uh, smite this time. Good. Down goes the ogre. Ah, come on. One more round. Nice. All right, the angry chopper. Now, it is apparently worse than what we have. So it, this one does physical power versus straight power. Now I think power is just better. I think power is everything, as opposed to physical power, elemental power, mundane power. Now it is two-handed versus one, which means we're gonna lose our shield. Ah, that's the case. So our power will go up, our aim will go up. We don't, because the ax gives us a minus aim. Um, our physical power will go down. I'm fine with that. I think power just will buff on top of it. Um, and our defense will go down. Oh, against light. Because of the negative on it. Don't think that matters. Um, and then we'll lose some resistance. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. Because I think it's cool. I want to give him a two-handed axe. Put and dump that in there. Tyler stole. We don't care. I don't know what happened to his axe. Or to his shield. Get some more money. Get some more money. All right, we don't have to move over there. We can just click the base of him. Uh, we'll check this room first. There's the other encounter. Another chest as well. We've got a boom rat, another boom rat, and a goblin. So two boom rats and a goblin. All right, uh, and he's going to go first this interest. So if I go ahead and put him... Put him here. I'm just a merchant, honest. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put him here. Honest, I'm a wee bit lost. And I'm gonna go ahead and put her. Put her right here for now. I wouldn't start the battle. All right, round one. Customers always right. X's turn. Game glow. So one to four. I'm gonna do it from here. Nice. Da -da -da -dun -dun. Have to turn off notifications when we do this in the future. And we'll do it from here. Slowly get in the hang of how the this the kind of the flow of combat works. And then I'm going to, uh, I think I'll just stay where I'm at. I think this guy will, I don't really care which direction he goes. We get the reaction. We've got a haste, we get cover, we move back. He's got some more movement. So he's got two and more abilities. Did it again, we just keep moving. There we go. Um, and uh, I'm gonna put her here. Oh, that was probably a mistake because now we can't move back. I was thinking the blessed from there, but keep her out of the way. So 
I screwed it up. That's really all there is to it. I just screwed it up. All right, and we're just gonna chop. If I can catch you, you're mine. Yeah, with that big two-hander. All right, let's see what happens. Can he can he escape a different direction? Or oh, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna kill this guy. Give ourselves a little gamma glow. Hmm. Here we go. Down it goes. Moldering tunic. Is that what he has on right now? No, he's got a dusty poncho. Ah, but the barbarian does. So you can see it's quite a bit better for him. We're gone from a level one to a level six. Perfect. And a barb guard, actually. Um, he's got. Hmm. Primal scream. If you're below fifty percent. You detaunt. Oh, that's kind of cool. So they'll go after somebody else. Whereas this is going to give us health, armor penetration, and magic power. And a, I guess something called Primal Scream? I'm actually kind of okay with that. That armor penetration probably is going to help us. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's... I think we're good. Don't forget any treasure chests. If end level tab is glowing red, it means there's still an interactable prop to find. Oh, that is a good tip. I like that one. Thank you, Dingbat. Nice contract. Twin pistol. All right. So. And it gives us an ability, I guess, called double hammer. Oh, wow. Double hammer is... Okay, so that's the attack we get with it. So I don't know what the 26 is. Oh, I can't mouse over it. Um, clearly it's an update from his rusty piston to the twin piston. More haste, a magical, and it gives us an additional ability. So, yep. There we go. This is a good hole. Nice, I like that. I want to see if... Oh, wait, so it's still red. I want to see if these count as that interactable item that we can we can click on, right? I didn't need to move there, but that's okay. We're gonna click. We're going to anyway. Okay. Come over here to the last room. There shouldn't be an encounter. We just had two encounters. Another chest. And again, I want to see if these will make that glow red. And good. Oh, a refurb neuro helmet. Put that up there, okay. Which is what he already has, so it's just a just a, okay. I'm just gonna use it on him then. Use soap. This is what she has, so it should just be a boost up. Yeah, so we're just going from level one to two. Um, and a razor. So it says, let's see, so this one is also two-handed. It's going to give us focus. I don't actually know what focus does. So we'd lose power, but we'd get focus. Now, it thinks it's a boost, so we're going to go for it. But I don't know for sure if it is or not. Uh, right click to inspect the character. So let's look at some of these abilities here and see if we can figure out what they are. So. Oh, it's disabled, but we still have it. Interesting. Okay, strengths. Good focus. What does focus do? Values greater have no effect. However, they can help overcome a target's reflex. Increases the, oh, so area of effectability. So for him, it's his taunt. Um, increases the power of all action, nearly all actions. You and mobility. Okay. He's bad against taunt. <laughs> and his reflexes aren't very good. He has poor aim. We don't care about that. And magic power. Yep. Good defense. Ability. Increases the effectiveness of hostile that would lower your speed or mobility. Move or orient you. Disorient you. Remove your action point. So I guess move or turn you around, right? Or remove action point. Okay, and he's got good health. 
I don't see just like a base. These are your stats. We have good and we have bad. So, uh, our charm, we have a charm that I unlocked from the tutorial. Um, it gives us everybody plus five power. And then we've got this party power um, that we got from finishing the level. Okay. And backstory, let's see what the backstory does for there I was in the middle of a great raid, the perfect little village with nicely bearded goats, huts with the kindle with kindling for roofs, piggies with twice curled tails, and chickens running around like feathered meat melons. Ripe for the picking. And oh the women, the women were ample, broad as axes. I was footing after a wench, but the length of my legs had failed me, and she'd scampered off to the woods, so I turned back to the village, planning to choke a chicken. When suddenly, well, some sneak must have patted up behind me while I was taken by the loot lust and brained me because everything went dark. And the next thing I know, I'm here in this box. Looking a bit squarer than I'm used to, and I'm fairly certain that I'm made of book filling now. You can imagine my confusion. I've fallen off the gunwale of a longship or two, and I've been lost before, but never like this. All I do here is fight and scrounge for loot. If I fall, they fold me back up and drop me into the fray anew. And I've got to find my loot all over again by prying it away from my enemy's cold hands. What have I done to deserve all this? Evan. Cool. All right, so let's escape back out of that. We see what his abilities are. Whoops. Uh, am I exit? Uh, and then this stuff can all just be sold. Again, I don't know what we do with the gold if we get to spend it. Okay. Now it shows us green. So no, these don't count. The chests do, but these random gold things that may or may not be giving us something don't. And I don't know for sure that they are actually giving us it, to be honest. We may as well exit the level. Another village, another pillage. I mean, it shows an ability. All right, mundane power. So everybody gets nearly plus 12 power. So the only one that's really going to help is going to be him because he uses mundane power. Uh, so I guess we put it there. After completing the temple, the dingbat appears before you once more. At this point, I'm contractually ob obligated to present you with a choice. Choose the form of your destroyer. And by destroyer, I mean the boss you must face, which honestly at this difficulty level is more like a glorified doorstop. So choose the form of your doorstop. Fair enough. How do I choose? Merely think of its form and I will manifest it. All right, so we can have a goblin, an ogre, a jello, name of my cat, by the way, a potato, spaghetti, Clear your mind. We know how will this work. <laughs> Meditate. Mind defense, Magnar plus two. All right, we need a roll of five, so we actually have to get a three or better, right? Except challenge. Or, or actually, we're getting plus two. I don't know if this is the modified roll or the base roll. Do I need a base roll of five or higher? And this is gonna add to it, so a three plus a two would get a five. Or are they taking this into account and saying, look, you've already got a plus two. That means you need to roll a five. I'll be on this timer. We'll find out if we roll a four. Oh, we will not. We rolled a nine. Pleased. Oh, there it is. Only so clear. Yep, that makes sense. <gasps> you draw a mindful breath, focusing your thoughts on the space between your lips and your nose. An old meditation trick. Your mind becomes an empty galley. Gallery? Filled with nothing but presence. Without warning, the thought of a gummy bear splashes across your canvas like a bad start to a Pollock paint. Form of a doorstop has been chosen. What? No, I didn't choose. I didn't choose. It has been chosen, so shall it be. Oh, well, how bad could a gummy bear be? <laughs> Guess we're going to find out. The boss. All right, location, dungeon holes, difficulty, painted. Oh, we've gone from bare plastic to painted. So our, our difficulty level is based on the preparation of the miniature. So is there going to be like a painted, based... I Rama, I mean, like, who knows? There's all sorts of ways we could do that difficulty. I like that a lot, though. That's really cool. All right. There we go. You don't have to click that, by the way. It just goes when it loads. I just happened to click it the first time at the right time. I hope you understand. I had no choice but to uh, pit this boss against you. But tell you what I'll do. I'm going to give you a little extra oomph at the start of every round. We're going to get bonus action. Why are you helping me? The little fish gets thrown back. <laughs> I want to put you on the table. Oh, I see how it is. All right. 
got a chimera, we've got a goblin, we've got an imp, and we've got the second gumming. All right, um, Claire's gonna go first. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see where are our options. We don't have a lot of them. Um, I'm gonna put him here. No, I'm gonna put him here, facing that way. I'm gonna leave Claire where she's at, and I'm gonna leave. X is gonna have a lot of people. Uh, I guess I'm gonna leave him where he's at. Um, everybody's gonna move before X, and Magna for that matter. So we'll see how this goes. So we'll do our 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 ability on her. Oh, is he gonna throw something at us? Oh yeah, it just goes after one person. All right, so definitely Claire's going to go ahead and like that extra oomph. Uh, we're gonna do Blessed Bulwark. We're gonna cast on him, and we're gonna do it from here. And we'll go ahead and end our turn. Goblin comes up. He goes after Magnar. Magnar, excuse me, who hits him for 61 damage. Then he tries to go after X, who moves back. Okay, so he goes back after Magnar. Okay, Chimera comes up. Snake Venom. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Second gumming. He's just gonna roll up. He can't really get anywhere. Oh, he gummified us. Our cover, our reflexes, all that sort of stuff. Guardian Spirit. Oh, I don't know what the heck that was, but it was cool. All right, and we are going to uh, chop this dude. What we're gonna do? Yeah. We'll do it from here. No, hold on. We are going to chop this guy from here. There we go. Uh, am I gonna taunting shout? It only matters. Nope. Nope. Whoops. Drag it back down and we'll end our turn. Uh, my turn? Double clicked in my turn, I guess, because I had abilities left? I don't know. All right, X gets to shoot someone. So he's got Primal skin Scream if we're below 50 at detaunts. We've got Double Hammer here. That's a one. I guess we'll find out what it does. This one does 62 to 75. Rainbow colored damage. All right, so we're going to start with this. I wonder if that's mundane power. I don't care. We're going to cast it. Haste. All right. Now I'm going to... Shoot this guy, and we're gonna see what it gives us. So that's gonna kill him. We do it from here. There might be different damage types as opposed to mundane. They are whatever they are. Okay. Then I'm gonna go here. And I want to shoot this guy, and I'm gonna do it from here. Let's move some merch. Dust you. And then I'm gonna do it again. Can we finish off the Chimera right here? Yes, we can. Nice, down he goes. We've got the second gumming. We still got this guy back there. But that's the end of our turn. Assume he's gonna fireball somebody. Oh, that's, that's a, he went for here, but we back up. It ended up hitting Magnar. Okay. Guardian Spirit. He cast it again. All right, so it's a, like a reflex against other people, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure what's giving it to us. Um, we are going to... Are we going to bless Bulwark? Or are we going to smite? We could conceivably do half the damage to him right here. The problem is... The Gummy Bear is probably going to kill Magnar the next turn after that. I don't know that that matters. I think X can get him. So it's showing us, I think, what will happen if we double click. If I double click, he moves over, she moves over here, and she casts on him. Nice. Okay. We end her turn. Who's yellow, which I believe means we could move, but we didn't have any abilities left. Agner pays the price for his giant gummy bear. Fair enough. Somebody had to pay it, it was him. All right, second gummy comes up. Goes after her cut, reflect, that's fine. All right. 
We're gonna go back to Gamma Glow. Actually, let's let's look at this guy real fast. He's abysmal against fire, awful against slashing, decent reflexes. He doesn't necessarily have any. He's not good against mundane, but fire, slashing, and reflexes are bad. So if we look here, I can't see what those are. <laughs> but it's gonna tell us. It's gonna do, I guess, 86 total health. Looks like either way, we're gonna do about the same. Two for one, two. one shot there, and we'll just do one from here. And yeah, it's it's telling us we're gonna shoot that way after him. So down he goes. You watch the second gummy shrink down into a bite-sized gummy bear. You pick it up for future snacking. <laughs> Um, not below. If I cast this now, I don't think it's going to matter. This is why I think they say it's red, so don't do it. I'm going to end. I'm going to move up. These guns are going and then I'm going to end my turn. All right, I assume we're going to get fire from this dude. Go ahead. Make my Fancy footwork. Cycle. All right. He's going to have to try to come up and do it again. Now Claire gets a turn. Nice. Now we can't smite because we did it last time. We double click it. It looks like it'll cast it on X from here. There we go. He's going to absorb damage. We're going to in turn. I'm going to Gamma Glow. Extra oomph. I don't know that it matters. He won't absorb. So it looks like it even gives us a little bit of heal. Hmm. Now, do that. It looks like it's going to walk up to there and then shoot him. Same there. But if I just <clears throat> drag it up and I want to shoot him, I can do it from here. So I don't have to go as far up as they were going to have us go. That's all it took. 426. Down he goes. Weight mail plus one. Ooh. You did it! Er, I knew you would. Now dust yourself off and make it look like it was easy before the wizard gets here. All right, plate mail, level five. Um, it says that's actually a negative for him. I don't see how, oh, because that's level six and this is level five. Um, it is less health, but it is more defense. I have no idea what defense does for us, but we're gonna put it up there because we got, we're not using a shield, so. Um, that is more armor, or more aim, excuse me. I don't think she needs aim. Um, he's got haste at a negative to magical power. I don't, that haste really hasn't been helping. Unless haste is just movement, probably is rather than movement speed. So I'm actually going to give him that. Um, tower shield doesn't help anybody because we're running a, a two-handed weapon. Um, although you can see it is front defense. Hey, it's my birthday. There, it's mine. I licked it. Name your price. Double click to equip on X. Oh, my Double click to equip on Magner. Nice Double click to sell. Name your price. I'm gonna sell everything. This is a good haul. So it thinks they were better than what we have on, but we're gonna go with it. Um, and then I guess that's it. The wardrobe with the symbol on it there. Let's go check that out. It looks like that's something we can open. Oh, and it is. Or at least put some mileage on that and all right so we get a viking shield defense plus front defense and a shield bash unfortunately we don't have a, a single-handed weapon Let me put some anchor gun on that and it um or a thermal so she's got a level one whatever ability thing that is so let's go ahead name your price nice can you clean this up for me please Oh, now I can buy things. Oh, okay. So how much money? We've got 1,270. Can I buy more than one thing? Nice contraband. Why, yes, I can. You know what? I'm going to buy this. And even though I have a two-handed right now, we can still, I think, equip it and just have it disabled until we get a single-handed weapon. Then we find a single-handed weapon we like. We're good. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a gun. I'm going to go ahead and give her the thermal. I'm going to go ahead and give him the shield. Quick to sell. Sell. 
now we're green. It says there's nothing else in there for us. It looks like at the end of each boss fight, you get the opportunity to uh, buy some gear. Nice. Club cracker for novices. Um, they say to put it on him. Okay. Why not? He's kind of roguish. I guess giving him a little club isn't going to hurt. The mask behind the curtain. A red curtain squeakily lowers before you. Uh-oh. Looks like you've caught the wizard's eye. Hopefully he wasn't watching us too closely. I think I was supposed to give the boss an aura or something. I have always been watching. Like a first commenter, a super fan, an early backer, I have witnessed your every success and failure since first you began the game. Well, I think I'm going to make myself scarce now. Not so fast, you bumbling bat. I will have words with you after I've exposed myself to the player. Now I really got to get out of here. Prepare yourself, player, for the shock of my form. Uh, my loins are gilded, are <laughs> girded. Show yourself, wizard. Be bold. <laughs> Is that a placeholder image? What? Oh. Is this better? Sideways. Hmm. How about this? <laughs> there we go. Like two eyes and a mouth. Oh, I see it. I chose this form because I know the denizens of your world are big fans of emojis. Yeah, it's kind of like a frog almost. I suppose I accept that charge. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. You've shown adequate perseverance in coming this far. Adequate. You may find me antagonistic from time to time, but I'll never hold failure against you. After all, this is rogue light. So whatever kills you makes you stronger. And I look forward to making you very strong. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must have a chat with a bat. Nope. Story driven campaigns. You've unlocked a new game, story driven campaigns. Forge a path through long form fantasy and sci-fi adventures. The journey begins in the cursed town of Sweetwater. All right. I think that's going to do it, though, for our first look here at Pop Up Dungeon. If you'd like to see more, let me know. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, the combat is... I like it, but it takes a little while getting used to it. I'm still kind of struggling with what I click, when I click, how to click it. It's not the most intuitive of UIs or the way things work. Um, I think it could use a little work. This is, however, the release version. This is 1.0, I believe. Um, so maybe that's not going to change much. I don't know. Um, but once you start to get the hang of it, uh, I think it begins to flow fairly easily. It's just a matter of figuring it out in the first place. So anyway, hope you liked it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time.